also in this video today, I'm gonna to be letting you know where to find fall crappie at. So be sure to stick around for that. Y'all stay tuned. What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. I am stoked about this trip today for many reasons actually. Now guys, we finally had some cooler weather, okay? And I mean consistent cooler weather. I don't know what the water temperature is today, but the last time I was out here, it was 87. I'm hoping that the water temperature has went down into the lower 80s or so, and that tells me that these crappie are in their fall pattern, if that's the case. Now my lake is three foot low right now, so that could be an issue with these brush tops. So, you know, a brush top that's usually in 15 feet of water, that sucker's only gonna be in about 12 feet of water. So I'm just gonna go out and see if I can find these crappie and see if they are in their fall pattern. The other reason why I'm super stoked today is today is my first time taking out the ionic lithium batteries. I put a video out recently on the installation of these ionic lithium batteries with in and out power sports. Y'all be sure to go check that out. I'll go ahead and link that video at the end of this video for you guys to check out. But today is my first day testing these ionic lithium batteries and we're going to see how it goes. But I also want to show you this right here. All right, guys, there they are. There is the two ionic lithium batteries, 100 amp hour, 12 volt ionic lithium batteries right there. Now I wanna go ahead and open my ionic lithium battery app. Check it out guys, there, those are my two batteries right there. I'm gonna click on one, it's gonna connect. And look at that guys, there it is, 99%. Now I was told that these suckers will not show 100%, but they've been on charge the past couple of days. 99%. If I go back and click on the other battery, there we go. Boom, 99% guys. So we are both fully charged on the lithium batteries and we're gonna see what they do today. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love this app right here on my phone. What we're gonna do is right now they're both at 99%. We're gonna go out on this fishing trip today. And of course, I'm gonna let you guys know at the end of the video how long I was out and all that good stuff. But we're gonna see how much battery life that these ionic lithium batteries have left over after today's trip. And if you haven't, be sure to go check out Drewcraft, okay? Go check out Drewcraft. Code 903FISHING will save you some money over at drewcraft.com. Remember guys, Drewcraft is a dealer of ionic lithium batteries. So that 903 fishing code will not work on the ionic battery lithium website you're going to have to go to drewcraft.com and use code 903 fishing to save you some money depending on what lithium battery you buy is going to depend on how much money you save but i do appreciate y'all for clicking on this video if you haven't smash that like button it really helps out the channel and if you're already subscribed god bless you y'all know i would not be doing this without you guys thank you for liking sharing commenting means the world to me thank you so much if you're not subscribed and you love crappie fishing we catch crappie year round here on the 903 fishing channel smash that subscribe button come join the family we are also on the road to 75,000 subscribers on the channel once we hit that 75,000 subscriber mark we're going to have a huge giveaway we're going to be giving away a couple of acc crappie sticks a fishing trip with myself some slab city jigs and many other items so another great reason to smash that subscribe button for this 75,000 subscriber giveaway. All right, guys, I'm about to put the boat in the water. Y'all stay tuned. We are at our first spot, and guess what, guys? Let me flip this camera around so y'all can see it. But we are, look at that, 81.7 degrees, guys. Right now, I'm in 12.9 feet of water. Let's see if there's any crappie in 12.9, 13 feet of water right now. Y'all stay tuned. So we got this structure right here. There's a couple of brush tops and I believe there's a couple stumps over here as well, but we're just gonna see first cast out this morning. Are there any crappie? I'm only fishing about eight foot deep right now. Eight foot. Keeper crappie. Can we catch a keeper crappie here? Oh, oh gosh, what is that? Oh, that's a, that's a crappie. I don't know. Oh, guys, I think that's a keep. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a keeper. Oh, look at there. Like always, guys, threading these minnows on. I'll show you how I thread them on here in a little bit. Every time I don't show how I thread them on in a video, somebody always asks me. I'll show you all here in a second. Look, caught this fish off this minnow, and he's ready to go again. 
pretty sure this is going to be a keeper right here feisty in the fall guys that is an 11 inch white crappie let's go baby first one of the morning Here we go guys we're on the board holy smokes i just got nailed and i don't know how i missed that fish that was a good fish too i felt it there he is oh look at that fish i think that's gonna be a keep i mean no giant but hey keeper fish is a keeper fish guys look at that let's see what he looks like i am in texas guys if this is your first video that you're watching 10 and a half inches on him let's go baby in the cooler let's go i am in texas guys so if this is your first time watching keeper is 10 inches okay guys so like i mentioned earlier there is all types of stumps brush down here and we're only in 13 feet of water so fishing eight feet deep but i'm kind of just I, I caught a keeper fish here so i've caught my next keeper fish here so i'm just going to kind of work this area see if there's another one i had a big fish on earlier oh god no look at that uh-oh are you serious okay okay look at that guys that's another solid fish solid solid keeper look at that minnow still got it look at that fish i'm telling you guys i mean these are so far they've all been 10 and a half this is the biggest one so so far well no that's another 11 it's another 11 inch fish let's go guys oh i'm not gonna say it i was nope i'm not gonna say it i'm not gonna jinx myself still got that minnow guys let's see if we can go right back in there come on boat gosh right over the stuff let's see if we can catch another one real quick before i have to reposition oh my gosh there he is there he is oh guys i mean hey if they're all 10 and a half to 11 and a half or whatever i mean that's still good eating this one's gonna be pushing it a little bit <laughs> this one's gonna push it but you know what he's almost 10 and a half i mean he's just shy of 10 and a half we're gonna go ahead and keep that all right guys i caught one off camera earlier that's five keeper crappie right there five keeper crappie in 10 minutes maybe I'm telling you guys, this fall crappie fishing, 2023, it's it's on. I'm pretty sure it's on, guys. Y'all stay tuned. I wanted to show you guys this. Look at the bait fish. This right here is a ball or a cloud of bait fish right here. It, the bait is sitting at about four foot deep right now, guys. Look, that is one reason these crappie go shallower in the fall because the bait goes shallower. Therefore, your crappie goes shallower. Y'all stay tuned. All right, family, I want to take a break from the fishing action real quick and go over the setup, okay? If you've been around the channel, you already know ACC crappie sticks. I use ACC for any type of crappie fishing and also for white bass, bluegill fishing as well. But today we're rocking with the eight foot ACC crappie stick super grip. We got the PC Fun Carbon X2 right here. Be sure to go to PCFun.com, use code 903FISH15, and that's gonna save you 15% off of your order acccrappiesticks.com as well. Go get you one of the ultimate crappie fishing rods, whether you're casting, vertical jigging, live scoping, it really doesn't matter, dock shooting, ACC Crappie Sticks has a rod to fit your needs. And of course, today we're rocking with the slip cork setup, okay? I have 10 pound Power Pro braid on the reel, okay? To a 12 pound mono leader right here, of course, with my slip cork setup. I have how to rig this slip cork setup on the channel. Go to my playlist and then click on how to playlist. And this setup right here is on there. This setup's gonna catch a crop a year round, guys. In the creeks, in the fall, summer, winter, it really doesn't matter. This setup is legit and it catches crappie. And then we have a Eagle Claw Aberdeen two-ot crappie hook right here, guys. A lot of people tell me these are too big been working for me for years so i'm going to stick to what works or what i know works and that is what we're going to be using today guys we're fall crappie fishing 
And also in this video today, I'm gonna to be letting you know where to find fall crappie at. So be sure to stick around for that. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, let's get back in there. I'm pretty sure I got these crappie located. I'm using these buoy markers as reference. Remember, these buoy markers aren't gonna always be 100% accurate. So I found out where the crappie are and I am going to throw past the strike zone or the area where I'm getting bit. And then I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna pop that minnow into that area. Basically, crappie like to chase, they like to go get bait. So that's kind of what I'm doing. There we go, wind, just a little wind. That's all I need. That's what I want right there. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Uh-oh, this is a bigger fish, I think. Unless it's a, oh it is, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a decent fish. Look at that. No need to measure this fish, guys. Look at that minnow, still got it. Guys, I've caught six crappie on three minnows. Six crappie on three minnows. I'm not gonna measure this fish. No point in it. That's six. Let's go, baby. Let's keep going, guys. Let's see how many more we can get. Should be another one over there. Oh, and there is. Oh, he, oh, he almost came up like a bass. <laughs> oh, that's close. I don't know if that's going to make I'm telling you, these white crappie will fool you, though. They'll fool you. Let's see what he's looking like. I didn't have to measure that last fish, but this one I need to. Oh, my God. What? Guys, that's 10 and a half. Look, there's 11 right there. 10 and a half, exactly. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I tell you what, guys. We haven't caught a crappie over 11 and a half inches today, but some good eating can't complain about catching crappie what a blessed day hey guys i'm going to show y'all real quick minnows in my right hand eagle claw aberdeen two ot crappie hook right here in my left in the mouth out the gill okay see how that it just slides right through that gill plate turn the hook and go right through the back look at that minnow look at that i'm not moving that minnow he's moving on his own now of course i'm actually popping that minnow back to me which helps but i'm telling you guys you catch three four crappie on a minnow sometimes that saves you money as well let's see if we can catch one on this cast when they hit it today i haven't seen crappie hit a cork like that well i haven't seen my cork hit like that in a while a couple of pops let it sit a couple of pops Oh, there he is. Is that a crappie? Oh, it is. Look at that, guys. There's a keeper fish. That sucker wasn't fighting like no crappie. And there's no measurement needed on this one. That minnow's messed up because it came unhooked. But look at that. That's a keeper. It's a keeper fish. Let's make sure. Oh, guys, 11 inches right on the dot. Let's go, baby. They're stacked, guys. I wanted to wait. I didn't want to jinx myself, but looks like they're stacked. That's eight fish right there. That's eight crappie in the cooler, guys. Let's go catch some more. There he is. Oh, my drag. There he is. Oh, that's a good fish, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's the biggest of the day. That's a good fish. That's what I'm looking for. That's a good fish. Look, guys, checkers 12 inches. Checkers 12 inches. Looks like he's just, just, just a tad bit over 12. Let's go, baby. We need to measure that fish. All right, guys. Well, we're almost in double digits there's nine let's see if we can get in double digits baby let's go all right guys well we're still looking for that 10th fish i've caught a couple of real small ones 
Uh-oh, what is that? Oh, there he is. That sucker came up like a bass. Did y'all see that? Came up like a bass. So got that minnow, baby. Pretty sure that's gonna be a keeper fish. It's been overcast all morning. Finally looks like the sun's gonna come out. Hey guys, 10 and a half, 10 and three quarter. 10 and three quarter, guys. All right, guys, we got a sack. We officially got a sack. We got 10. 10 keeper crappie, baby. Let's go, baby, y'all stay tuned. What's going on, family? Well, the bite has died on me. There are fish down there, they're just not biting. This spot was in about 13 feet of water. We're gonna go to another spot that should be a great fall crappie fishing spot as well. It's in about 14 to 15 feet. I'm gonna stay in that 10 to 15 foot range today just to confirm that these crappie are indeed in their fall pattern. So y'all be sure to stay tuned. I'm gonna head out to the next spot. What's going on, family? Well, the title of this video is where to find fall crappie where do crappie go in the fall? And my answer to that is pretty simple. These crappie go shallower. Now what I mean by shallower is these crappie have been in anywhere from 15 to 30 feet of water on my lake. Today I have fished water anywhere from nine to 14 foot deep. These crappie have been in deep water. They haven't been eating very much. That's why you see crappie in the summertime. They're big crappie, long crappie, but they may be a little skinny and they just haven't been eating as much. Now in the fall, these crappie really plump up and they start eating everything. You will notice that the bite will be more aggressive even with these slip corks. The cork will just go straight under instead of that normal you know, bob with the cork and then slowly go. And even with the jig bite, these crappie won't just put it in their mouth and, and you know, just barely hit it. They will thump the mess out of it. So you could find crappie on your lake on those shallower brush tops, shallower structure than what you've been finding crappie in the summertime. Now, I mentioned this also earlier in this video that crappie are gonna go one to two places after fall. They're either gonna go into the creeks and chase shad or they're gonna go in deep water. I know why the crappie go in the creeks. The crappie go in the creeks because the shad go in the creeks because the water is shallower. It can warm up quicker in those 50, 60 degree days when the sun is out the shad will go in the creeks and the crappie will follow them. So if you have creeks on your lake that are not silted in, and if the shad go in there, then I can almost guarantee you the crappie go in there as well. I'm at my last spot for the day and we're gonna see how many more crappie we can put in the cooler. Right now is a great time to hit that like button if you haven't and also smash that subscribe button. Remember, we're on the road to that 75,000 subscriber mark. We're gonna have a huge giveaway at 75,000 guys. Be sure to smash that subscribe button. Come join the family. Let's see how many more we can get. Y'all stay tuned. There he is guys. Sorry for no hook set. Just got to this spot. This is actually my first cast on this spot. Looks like a little keeper white crappie right there. Yes sir, 11 inches baby. Look at that guys, 11 inches. Let me hit that spot lock back because it came off. All right, guys. Well, boom. Another one in the cooler. Now, that's going to make 14 right there. So we're here. We're working. There he is. There he is. That's gonna be a good fish. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. That's what we want. Had to go a little shallower on the pile. Look at that. I'm not gonna measure this fish, guys. That's a, that's a decent fish all day. Put that in there. Well, boom. We're at 15, baby. Let's go. Two brush tops right here. I'm kind of just going back and forth, just seeing what I can catch off of them. I've caught fish off both, but I've caught a couple small black crappie on this one and keeper white over there. So oh, there's one. Uh oh. Oh, now that feels like a better fish. And it is. It's a black. Look at that black crappie. Holy smokes, guys. That is a chunk. That is a chunk. 
Look at that fish. That's a big crappie. Big black crappie for this lake right here, guys. That's a that's a a chunk. Look at that. Nothing wrong with that fish right there. Here we go. All right, guys. There's 16. I think. Don't even need to worry about hitting that right now. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's go back to this one. Why not? That one looked like it had a lot more fish on it. That one bit. Holy smokes. <laughs> Ain't that crazy, guys? It's been all white crappie on the right pile, all black crappie on the left pile. That is insane to me how that works. I mean, I've caught black and white off the same pile, but that's going to be a keeper fish, too. Eleven incher almost. Eleven incher. There we go. All right, guys, we rocking and rolling, rocking and rolling, baby. Seventeen in the cooler. There he is. There he is. There's a good one. Is that a black? Oh, I think that's gonna keep though. Pretty sure that's gonna keep. I think. I don't know. They always look bigger in the water, you know. But oh yeah. Hey guys, that's ten and a quarter. That's ten and a quarter. Keep that. Let's go, baby. Nothing wrong with that fish right there. That's eighteen. You know what, guys? Look at there. I got that same minnow. Let's see if I can go to about that same spot. It was right in there somewhere. See if there's another one that wants to play. There is another one that wants it. I don't think he's going to keep, but... Well, I don't know, guys. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, sir. We did go back to back. Look at that. A black crappie, then a white, baby. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, guys, that's ten and a half. All right, baby. Here we go. Nineteen. Caught two really quick, guys. Let's see. Let's see how many more we can catch. All right, family. Well, this spot has died on me. I believe I caught five or six off of it. We're going to go ahead and head back to the boat ramp. I believe I have 19 in the cooler today. Not a bad day for fall, okay? Considering... The past two weeks have been kind of slow. So that tells me that this fall crappie fishing bite is picking up day by day. It's just going to get better and better. Right now is a great time to hit that like button if you haven't. And also smash that subscribe button if you love you some crappie fishing. I'll see y'all back at the ramp. Y'all stay tuned. What's going on family back at the boat ramp and guess what i know you're curious i'm very curious to see what these batteries are on now at the beginning of this video i got out here about 7 45 you probably can see the time on my phone at the beginning of the video i don't know but i want to see what these batteries are on so i'm going to go ahead and turn this camera around for you all right guys i had to hop in the truck real quick so you could see my phone you couldn't really see it outside Let's click on one and see what it looks like. All right, guys, it looks like battery number one is sitting at 87% after one trip out. Then if I go to the second battery, second battery right here, we are sitting at 91. 87% and 91. That is very impressive. I'm, I'm very impressed. That is awesome. Now guys, these two lithium batteries, okay? One is sitting at 87% like you saw, the other one is sitting at 91. I spent about four to five hours out on the water this morning. Now, a lot of that you guys didn't see. I went ahead and checked out some other spots after I got done filming the video. Ran the trolling motor pretty much the whole time and I also ran both of my graphs the whole time. 
And guys, I mean, that's, that's, that's insane to me. Remember, this is my first time out with these lithium batteries. Be sure to go to drewcraft.com and pick you up these ionic lithium batteries. Use code 903fishing at drewcraft.com to save you some money. All right, guys, this fall crappie fishing bite of 2023 is picking up and ended the day with 20 today. I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna put them on the tailgate today, but this is what we ended up with, guys. We got 20 in the cooler. I thought I had 19, but I counted them before I left and it's really 20. But it's early, guys. It's still early fall right now. These temperatures are still getting, you know, right where they need to be. I think by the time I got off the water, the surface temp was up to 84 today. And I stayed in that 10 to 14 foot range today, guys. 10 to 14 feet, that is where I could find fall crappie on my lake. And remember, guys, the depths may vary, okay? Depending on your lake, depending on your average depth of your lake, all of that may vary, but I'm gonna tell you right now, go shallower than what you've been fishing in the summertime for these fall crappie. Of course, guys, I use my eight foot ACC crappie sticks today paired with that PC Fun reel. Be sure to go to PCFun.com. Use code 903FISH15 to save you 15% off your order at PCFun.com. All of these links will be in the description of this video, including the link for ACC crappie sticks. Go get you some of these fall crappie guys. They're gonna be very aggressive and they're gonna be ready to eat. But I'm gonna head up to the floating barge and I'm gonna see if anybody wants these crappie. I'm gonna try to get it on film for you guys. It's a little tough when I'm by myself because I don't have anybody to film it, but we'll see what I can do. What's going on, family? Well, we're at the floating barge here at the Boulders, and I got JR and Chris back here. Y'all wanna wave, say what's up? All right, what's up? <laughs> hey, uh, we're gonna give them these 20 crappie today, guys. So, ah, I don't see any crappie in this basket, but we about to fill <laughs> it up. Yeah. We, we gonna fill it up. We got a few, few nice crappie right here, guys. We're gonna give them all 20 today, so they can enjoy these. Look at the color on this crappie, guys. I don't know if y'all can see that on camera, but black crappie like to turn a little goldish. You want some in yours? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. That's eight, nine, so I'll put eleven in there. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, there it is. Got fill that basket up. Put some in Jr's bucket as well. But, fellas. I appreciate, I appreciate it, Chris. I appreciate it, sir. Hey, man, yes, I sir. appreciate y'all. Thanks for, they both watch the channel. They both follow the channel. So I appreciate you guys. Yes, sir. Thank All you right. very much. Y'all have a great day. All right, thank you. All right, family. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. I do appreciate y'all for watching. If you haven't, smash that thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And guys, if you're already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate all the support. It means a lot to me. If you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Come join the 903 Fishing Family. We would love to have you. And don't forget about that 75,000 subscriber giveaway. Once we hit 75,000 subscribers, we're gonna have a huge giveaway on YouTube. So you don't wanna miss that. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.